Welcome back to 8042 Media. We got a quick tutorial for you guys today on Calendly. So a lot of common questions and problems people face with WordPress is how can I host um, online meetings within my WordPress website? So I want to give you guys a quick example to get excited to make sure this is the right tutorial for you of what it's going to look like. All right. So if we come to my current website, um, and you scroll down, we got a button up here that says talk to an expert. All right. And if you click on that, there's this kind of beautiful, as you guys can see, it's powered by Calendly. You can remove this if you want to. Um, but if you want to not spend a single dollar, um, it will have this powered by Calendly up in the top right corner. I left that there for the sake of this tutorial. Um, you will be able to immediately put this into your website. Okay. So whether people are on the blog or they're um, looking at your services, for example, there can be a call to action button and that will take them to a new page where they can easily book a um, conversation, a Zoom call or anything of that nature. All right. So if you guys are trying to do that to your WordPress website, stick around. I'm going to show you how in this tutorial. The first step is you're going to come to Calendly.com. I'll provide the link in the description. You're going to come up to the right hand corner and press sign up for free. Okay. So I'm going to be using um, a new email since I've already created an account and you're going to simply go ahead and put in your email address. The easiest way is to sign up with Google. The benefits of signing up with Google are that your appointments that are scheduled will immediately import through Google Calendar. That is awesome. So I'm going to press sign up with Google and you're going to go ahead and choose your account that you wish to sign up with. Press allow. And the first step is you can create your Calendly URL. Um, so you don't want this to be something confusing, either your website name or just your name. I'm going to go ahead and put my name, press continue, and you're going to want to confirm that your Google calendar is connected. So they're going to check your email and they're going to add events to your email. You can go ahead and press continue if you're okay with that. And this is where you're going to set your availability. So I recommend, you know, choosing a few hours throughout the day um, where you are going to be free or if you do want to do the whole nine to five, that's completely fine. But these are going to be the available hours that people can book appointments. So go ahead and select whatever you want there. I'm going to leave this at nine to five. And then you also have the ability to select or deselect days of the week. So if you only are available for appointments or calls on Thursday and Friday, you're going to go ahead and just select those and you can um, further customize your availability later on. So this is just um, something that you should do before moving on. It will be easier later on if you do that. It's going to ask you, you know, what your day to day role is. They're trying to collect information for their own benefit. I'm going to go ahead and press other and click finish. OK, so your um, Calendly account is completely set up now and it gives you a few options right off the bat. Um, but we're going to go ahead and create our own. Okay. Chances are yours is going to be a little bit different than these. So you can go ahead and delete these options here, um, and then set up a personal one that's going to be available on your very own WordPress site. So what we want to do here, and this is the UI for 2021. So it's going to look a little different for, um, you know, once Calendly updates their UI, I noticed a lot of the current tutorials on YouTube do not, are not updated with their new UI. So I figured I would go ahead and create one for you guys. You're going to press new event type. And, um, with the free account, you have a option to, you know, select one on one. Okay. So the user that's coming into your website will be able to work with you directly. If you do pay, um, you can upgrade and 
get comfortable with these other event types. But we're gonna go ahead and click one-on-one -on -one, and you have the option to now name your event. So I'm gonna say, um, talk to 8482, okay? Um, the location, you can choose, you know, whether you want the to be a Zoom web conference, Google Meet, a phone call, whether it's at a specific address or location. This is all gonna be dependent on what you do um, and what type of appointment you wanna schedule. So I'm gonna say phone call, um, and it will give you a further, you know, selection as to if you want to be the one that calls them, if they should call you, I recommend calling them. What a cool process to be able to log onto a website, book an appointment, and know that they will reach out to you at the specific time that you requested. Okay, so I'm gonna press update there. And I do recommend providing a little, you know, summary of what the talk is about. So you could say, you know, you wanted to hop on a call, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and just go ahead and fill out, you know, a little information about what the description is. Okay. The event link. Okay. Um, this is going to just show up after they schedule the appointment and while they schedule the appointment. So it's important to not change it too much. You want them to be able to trust, you know, the appointment and where they're going. So it can just be talk to 8042 or you can change that if you'd like to. And then the event color, um, as you can see, you can hover over the um, question mark here and you can see exactly how that would show up. It's just going to be a little circle next to the title of your event. Okay, so I'm happy with purple. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step for you guys. All right, so selecting the date range, okay, um, this, allows you to select how far anyone can book these appointments into the future. So, you know, if your schedule looks, you know, free for the next 60 days, but after that it is not free at all, you know, I recommend selecting um, that they can only book out to 60 days. For realistic purposes, um, you know, you can just go one week or two weeks. You could say 14 calendar days into the future and they can't book anything um, further than that. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can select for them to um, only be able to book, you know, in a specific date range. Let's say this appointment is, you know, for a very specific project or event that you have coming up and it ends on a specific day. Well, maybe you don't want to allow appointments to be booked after that date, or you can select forever. They can just book an appointment with you 10 years from now and you'll have to call them on their cell phone. Um, I don't recommend doing that, but in certain circumstances, that might be the option that you want to select. I'm going to come back and select 14. The duration of the phone call or Zoom meeting or whatever you selected, you can go ahead and add a custom one if you'd like or choose from one of their options, 15 to 60 minutes. And here's where we previously imported our working hours, okay? So you have the option to change that now if you want, um, but I'm happy with what I previously selected. You know, that's my current schedule of where I'm available to book appointments, okay? And I do recommend selecting a window um, before and after. If your phone call goes a little late, this ensures that nobody can just book back to back um, so depending on the service or type of call that you're offering, make sure to add a little buffer window. I mean, this is really cool. The process is so seamless and will allow you to uh, be able to really automate this process of taking inbound calls. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press next. All right, so we're almost done. Um, we're going to go ahead and look and confirm that all these settings are what we want. So you have the option to go in and, you know, review that you're sure you want it to be a phone call. You're sure that you want them to be able to book on those specific days. And the additional settings are the questions. All right. So you have the option to um, add new questions. Okay. And the key thing to note here is the 
requirements. All right. So if you want their name and email to be required, those are automatically standardized as well as their phone number. Now this question, please share anything that will help prepare for our meeting is not required. So if you want it to be required, you press that little edit icon and you can come up and change um, that by making sure that this um, is selected here. You can press apply and then you will see that when booking the appointment, they'll actually have to fill out that information. You have the option to add a new question. For example, what is your budget? Right. And we could add multiple lines here. Um, press apply. And they will have to, you know, input their budget. You could also uh, select, you know, check boxes where you could say um, less than $200. You could put more than $200, $1,000, etc. You guys will be able to play around with that depending on what you're offering or what you're talking about. And you also have the option there to um, check that box to make sure that it is required. Okay. When you're done filling out that information, you want to make sure to press save and close. And workflows is um, the option that is available with Calendly's Pro feature that will allow you to, um, you know, book a kind of seamless process for everybody that comes through your uh, your funnel, so to say, right? So as soon as they create the event and schedule the appointment, they could have a text message, then they could get an email reminder two days before, they could get another email or another text message, and then after the you know, event is over, you can have specific actions um, for them as well. We're not gonna cover that as this is just a free way to get these appointments onto your website. Next is notifications and a cancellation policy. So since we're covering you know, just free events, we're not going to deal with the cancellation policy, but this is a really cool reminder. You have the ability to, you know, personalize a text message or an email reminder about the appointment. Since they did uh, provide their phone number, I do recommend, you know, you can come in and click personalize here and their template already works. So the reminder would say, you know, talk with 8482 with my name at this time on this day. And you have the option to send a reminder, you know, 24 hours before the event, you can add another one so that it's, you know, one hour before the event and you can press save and close when you're done, you know, choosing the specific reminders that you want them to have. All right. Next is the confirmation page. Um, you either have the ability to display Calendly's confirmation page or you can redirect them to an external site um, or an internal page on your site. If we click redirect to an external site, we're just going to provide a link that could be a link to your YouTube channel. It could be a link to a blog or a custom page that thanks them for booking an appointment. We're going to press save and close. I'm going to put it back to that. We're going to press save and close. And, you know, the you also have the option to collect payments. We're just covering free appointment booking in this video and we're going to get that added to your site, but you can collect payments with Stripe or PayPal. Um, you know, if you are a coach or consultant that pay that charges a fee for an initial consultation. OK, we'll press save and close and that's complete. You guys, we're all done. So we're going to go ahead and click the back arrow and how we're going to do this in the old UI that Calendly had, you had to press this gear icon and there was an embed button. Um, in the new UI that they have, we're going to click this share button and we're going to come up and click add to website because we want to add this to our WordPress website. Now we have the option to embed um, this as a page to our website. We can embed it as a widget that pops up um, on the bottom right hand corner, for example, or we can add it as a text pop up on a and embed it within a page. I'm going to show you guys how to add this as a page. 
Um, it's going to look exactly like this on your website. People will be able to, you know, book an appointment. And as you can see there, you know, only the days of the week and the times of the week that I um, selected within my schedule are going to be available. All right. So let's go ahead and come back here. We're going to click embed inline continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up some code. Okay. Before it does that, um, I do recommend changing any of these colors to match your website. So you can change the text color, the button color, and the background color. And I'll show you what that looks like. So the background color is just going to be, you know, the background of this schedule. The text color, of course, is the text that appears in this video. And then the button color is this purple that I've selected that matches you know, the color of my website. Okay. So you guys are going to go ahead and select those that will slightly change the code. And once you're happy with that, go ahead and select copy code. You're going to want to come to your website. You're going to want to create a new page in WordPress. And depending on the theme, you'll either be able to copy and paste this um, within the text of your website, or you can come down, you'll have to select a new block and you're going to want to search HTML. You're going to go ahead and click HTML and then you're simply going to paste that code directly in to the new page that you created. If I click update here, you guys will be able to see um, that there's the Let's preview this. There's the initial calendar that I made um, that's currently live on my website. And then there's this um, additional one that, you know, has different colors that we just made together. Okay. So that's what it's going to appear and look like on your website. And the cool thing is you guys can test this. It's perfectly integrated with your Google calendar. So as soon as somebody comes in, fills out their information, presses schedule the event, you will automatically get an email and the date and time will automatically be added to your Google calendar. The other incredible thing about this is if you currently have a appointment on any of these times that you've um, allowed people to schedule, let's say you get a haircut or you have a doctor's appointment and you add that to your Google calendar, you know, on Friday at 930, well, that time slot will automatically be updated and blocked from anyone coming and wanting to schedule in that time through your website. So really incredible features. There's not a lot of um, easy follow along uh, things that compete with Calendly. And if you do feel the need, you want to remove this or, you know, you want to get some bonus features um, for your website, you can do that by upgrading your account. Hopefully this tutorial was easy um, to follow. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, delete this, uh, this HTML from my website, but that concludes this tutorial. You guys, if you are interested in learning all kinds of tutorials that will help you make more money online and create an impact. We cover video editing on this channel. We cover marketing. We cover a lot of online um, integrations. We're going to be building out a lot of content and a lot of tutorials for you guys. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have a great day.